So, last night two Russian planes, um, A-50 and Il-22M, this is A-50 uh, and uh, yeah and uh, and this is il 22m so uh, they were shot down over the sea of azov and uh, it is very uh, bad for russians it can be compared to the destruction of the cruise uh, moscow uh, now in russia desperate measures are being taken to downplay the significance of what happened but uh, all these measures they are only confirming that something really painful happened uh, mill bloggers actively sp spread the signal that the incident, as a result of which a unique, expensive, long-range uh, re reconnaissance aircraft was shot down and the flying command post was at least damaged. It, uh, it all occurred as a result of friendly fire. It is uh, rhetoric typical for Russian propaganda. The system of recognition of friend of four did not work. Uh, and uh, this is what they said, and uh, this is uh, very similar to the unauthorized uh, discharge of aviation munitions, which happened not so long ago in Voronish region. As if munition has free will. It, it decided, it discharged, then it just fell down and demolished half a village. Of course, it is done preemptively to remove responsibility and not look for anybody guilty in this. Uh, it's just, you know, the technical fault, uh, it's uh, some mundane matter, it, every day it happens, nothing to see here, uh, move on. And uh, the version of friendly fire was thrown in as a lesser evil. Kremlin cannot allow the Russians to have thoughts about the ability of Ukraine to shoot down scarce aircraft in the deep rear of, you know, deep, deeply behind the, um, the front lines. Because this will have a strong demoralizing effect, especially on the troops um, in, the, in the Kherson and Zaporozhye region. Technical failure, usual sloppiness of the military, this is just usual uh, explanation for the uh, Russian Federation and it is uh, not, uh, well, it, it, it is accepted easily. Uh, the trouble for the Kremlin is that the uh, indicated aircrafts are too uh, specific and they flew, uh, you know, as predictably as possible. And even Russians themselves in the comments to the news ask the question, what the hell had to happen for this aircraft to suddenly stop being recognized? And two of them at once. And uh, throwing in this version... Friendly fire, the Russian authorities caused some indirect damage. They reminded everyone of the danger that the Russian army poses to the civilian population of Russian Federation and to the military itself. Uh, because we had uh, episodes in Voronezh and Belgorod regions, we had uh, missiles that fell in different regions of Russian Federation, and uh, then yesterday's incident it all shows that Russian aviation bombs everything it, it sees and Russian air defense fires indiscriminately in all directions. But the key point here, the, the, the point they would like to, you know, um, conceal is the, um, is the potential uh, damage to the, is the damage to combat potential of the uh, Russian army or Russian aviation, because there are only seven or eight long-range radar uh, reconnaissance aircraft left in the Russian Federation, and their technical condition, it is unknown. Watch, one of such aircraft was um, damaged in Belarus uh, last year and uh, was hastily evacuated to the Russian Federation, and the Russian Federation is not able to produce any uh, more of such aircraft. And also a question are they able to repair them? If at least a couple of are faulty, then, you know, the, 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 the remainder uh, aircraft have to control too much of, um, you know, huge airspace of Russian Federation. 
Russian propaganda is already trying to, you know, to deflect it, to um, trying to balance this bad news. They are massively throwing messages about the losses of the Ukrainian aviation. They are speaking about the collapse of the front and so on. But in the information field, um, unpleasant message for the Kremlin is already living its own life. The Russian Federation has no margin of safety for critically important technologies. Uh, uh, as a result of the attack on Ukraine, the Russian army suffers irreplaceable losses of scarce, scarce equipment, the loss of which will be uh, compensated by people, by cannon fodder. It is quite possible that in order to switch the attention of uh, people, the authorities of the Russian Federation will demand from the military to urgently organize some kind of victory, to take some village, and which will lead to an even greater increase in the losses of the Russian troops. Well, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Slava Ukraini!